Today I'm going to show you a simple and easy way on how to sand and polish your blank uh, for acrylic or resin cast blanks. And I'm going to do that using Zona. This is Zona paper. It's a polish paper. It comes in six different grits uh, or microns as they say. And basically you just cut off a little square of each one and you use that to polish your tube. Now I've got on the lathe here an acrylic blank. This is a polyester resin. Uh, tube that has been turned down. It's fairly flat coming off of the carbide tools and I'm going to do a simple process. I'm going to use this sandpaper which is 800 wet dry paper. I'm going to use that very quickly just to flatten out the blank, take out any tool marks. Once I'm done with that I'm going to go straight to this zona and I'm going to go through the six grits and that will be to polish the resin. So you can see now the the resin is a little blurry, it has a little haze to it from turning, and we're gonna fix that up in just two minutes. I'm gonna slow my speed down to around 1200 for this. And I just wanna keep my sandpaper wet. And the, the whole point of this 800 sandpaper is to sand out any lines, any bumps, any inconsistencies. So once I feel that I've done that, I can go right to my zona. I want to make sure and get my ends good here. I'm going to try to hold this so the camera can see, which isn't always the easiest. So I'm getting my ends rounded over, or at least flush. And then I'm going to make one more pass, kind of feel how it goes. And that feels really good. Maybe a little more right there. Now the flatter you turn your blank, the quicker you can move off of the sandpaper. So. The zona will not change the profile. It won't take out any uh, cut marks from tools. It won't take or change the shape. All it's gonna do is polish those things. So now I've got that where I want it. I'm gonna start with the green. This is the most abrasive, and I say abrasive, but it's, it, like I said, it's not changing anything. It's just polishing. So after even just this one grit, I'll stop this and you'll see how much shinier it is already. So I just like to keep it wet, keep that material off of the paper. If I stop it, you can see it already has a shine to it more than it did before. And by the time I get through these six grits, it's going to have a nice shine as if I buffed it or used a polish. Now these little squares, I usually cut them about this size. They're just easier to hold on to. You'll get five, six, seven, eight pens out of them depending on what the material is. So when you look at how many squares you cut out of a set of Zona, at $13.99 you can really do a lot of polishing, especially on pens. There's just a lot, a lot of space there. So I'm already on the third of six. And as I'm doing this, I can see the, the blank start to shine through the, the water here. It's getting brighter and brighter. So now I'm on to pink. The last few are really the shine factor. So I know some people like to use the first couple grits and then go to a buffer. I don't particularly like to do that because pens are difficult to hold on the buffer. And if this does the job, why do that? So I'm on the second to last, the blue. I'm trying to hold it under the blank here to make it easier to see. Now the, the white is the most confusing because both sides look the same, but if you feel it, one side feels smooth and one side feels like a, a texture. The texture side is the bottom, it's the structure of the paper. So I'm going to use the top side to get it good and wet. And this one I'll spend just an extra few seconds on because this is where I really get the shine out of them. And when I'm done here, I'm going to take this off the lathe so you can get a nice close-up of how shiny this thing is. And you can probably already start to see the shine coming through. So if I turn this off, dry that off, back it up here. This thing has an excellent shine to it. You can probably see the reflection. And that is polyester resin. Works very well on a Lumalite and epoxies, uh, just the same. So 
If you're looking for a good shine, this Zona paper is a really quick and easy way to get a top-notch shine.